Hi guys, welcome back to Garatech. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of these Volkswagen Group wiring diagrams. So this is for Volkswagen, Audi, Seat, Skoda, uh, and Bentley, uh, Volkswagen commercial vehicles as well. So they all use these Volkswagen Group wiring diagrams on this system called Elsa Pro. Um, you can also get another version which is called Irwin, which any garage can kind of subscribe to to use. But um, if you're new to Volkswagens and uh, you've not used these wiring diagrams before, you may find them a little bit tricky. So hopefully this will help you out. So to jump right in over on the left hand side, you've got your different wiring diagrams. So obviously there's not one whole great big wiring diagram for the whole vehicle that kind of split into all individual little areas. Um, so particularly for like the Volkswagens, they tend to use uh, one which is called basic equipment, which will have all of the things like your horn, your wipers, uh, indicators, light switch, etc. So as the name kind of suggests, basic equipment, it tends to be all of the things that the car comes with from standard. And then anything else is an additional uh, wiring diagram. So I'm just currently looking here at a uh, Bentley Continental GT. Um, so I'm looking at the onboard power supply control unit. So at the top, it gives me the name. Um, and then over at the side here, you've got the wiring diagram number and then the page number. So obviously as you scroll down, um, the page numbers continue. Okay, so some of the important things that you need to know about these wiring diagrams, I think the first or the most important part is these track numbers at the bottom. So you've got these track numbers that they go all the way along as so we stop at 14 here. And then if we go down to the next page, it goes to 15. And then that continues on and on and so on. So these track numbers are really important because they uh, correspond to the numbers that these wires are within these boxes. So these are kind of like the continuation boxes. So this uh, wire here comes down to here. It then says number 15. So this wire then continues onto this page at track number 15 to where this 14 is. So it's quite nice and easy, this particular one you can see on the 14 there. So if we scroll back up, yeah, it's this red and blue wire and it continues up onto this track number here. So if you're using the PC version like this, you can click on it and it'll take you directly to where that wire is. So for example, uh, I'm only up to track 14, but if I look at this one here, which is 33, I need to make a note, always make a mental note where you've come from. So we're on track three. So if we click on this 33, that will then take me to track 33. You can see there's another box there, 25. And then you can see this is box here, number three. So that's where um, we've just come from, okay? So that's actually quite important when you're looking at these wiring diagrams that you remember uh, these track numbers and these continuation boxes. The next important thing is this line at the bottom here. So this black line at the bottom, which is on every page, is known as the chassis earth or the body earth or the negative terminal. It joins to the negative terminal of the battery. So anything that's bolted down or connected to this um, line at the bottom means it's connected to an earth. So it's really uh, quite an important part and actually I tend to use that as the starting point when trying to diagnose or look at any issues or read the wiring diagrams because you then know, you know, if you trace this wire back, it goes up here, joins to there, up to there, you know then then that's an earth wire, okay? Now talking of a join, you can see here, we've got one, two, three wires connected here at this uh, point by this kind of little line here and these black dots. This is called a node joint, um, and you can see we've got a designation written here, which is 368. If you can't see very well, you can uh, zoom in, and then you can use the arrows here at the side to, to move or navigate around. So you can see here we're at 368. So this is a node connection, 368. And if you look at the key at the side, it says 368, and that tells us that's the earth connection of three in the main wiring harness. Now the great thing about using it on the PC version is that you can obviously click on the little camera icon there and then that will take you to um, the, the other part of the uh, fitting locations to actually show you uh, where that is. Uh, so Ketchum 3 main uh, wiring harness and it tells you then all of the other wires and connectors that are come to that same point. So here you've got one, two, three, four, five, six wires that all come to that same connector point. 
So if I go back, um, oh, that's the only problem when you use the back button on there, it doesn't take you back directly to where you've just come from. Um, but you can see here we've only got one, two, three wires there for this uh, three, six, eight, if we click on that, it highlights it. But actually there was multiple other wires. So what you can see is additional little line at the end that just gives you an indication that there are possibly other wires that are connected to that. So it's really important looking at this, particularly when you're doing your diagnosis, because if you've got multiple forks in the system, it's worthwhile just looking at the wiring diagram straight away, because that may indicate if you've got, you know, several uh, sensor forks, they may all share the same earth. So that will give you an indication of where to go and check and look straight away. Okay, some other information that you have on these, uh, on the key at the side. So if you can see here at the top, I've got this J519. So if I click on it there, it will highlight it on the diagram for me, which is great. So you can see here, this is J519. So it's the onboard power supply control unit. You can kind of uh, get an idea. It's a control unit by the symbol uh, that's in there. Um, and that will then just give you some information as to uh, what it is that you're looking at on this diagram. So same here, we've got SH. So you can come over to the side, find SH. It's a fuse holder H under the seat on the front right. So I could click on that and take me to it. Um, and then if you go down, you've got other bits of information about connectors, etc. So that's really important if we start to actually look at the individual wires and some of the information. So. For example, I'm going to just zoom in over here and look at uh, these wires here. So this just kind of indicates it's the male and female end of the wire. And then you've got T73AB. So if I look at the side, we've got a T73AB. So it's 73 because it's a 73 pin connector. That means it has the um, potential to have 73 pins or wires in it. It doesn't mean it will. Um, but it just gives you an indication of the size of that uh, plug connector. And for this particular wire that we're looking at is pin number 70, uh, 63. Okay, um, now you need to be careful because if you look at these two wires here, you've got a T73AB and there's a T73AA, both going at pin number 63. So you need to be just very mindful and um, cautious when you're looking and doing your diagnosis that you're getting the exact wire because it could be quite easy to go and back pin then into the wrong connector thinking you've got the right one um, and there's just a slight difference between the AB and the AA. They both say it's in a pin number of terminal 63 but you could just accidentally get the wrong uh, plug. Now a great thing about obviously using these diagrams like this you can then just click on uh, the icon at the side here. So here, it gives me the plug information. So just wait for it to load again. Uh, so 73AB, and then you've got all the other individual wires. So if you want to count them along, you can, but you've got an indication of what number it is. If you look closely in the plug, you'll be able to see it. So you've got number one up to 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then you go to 13 up to 37. 38 over to 62, then 63 to um, 73. So it'll give a bit of information so you can then trace along to find your actual wire. So 63, 64, 65, 66, for example. So let's go back. Um, okay, so we were here, we were looking at pin 63, wasn't we? So I'll zoom back in again. Because after the 63, you've got this KL31. So this KL31 gives you a bit of an information on what this actual wire is. Uh, is it alive? Is it an earth? Is it a signal wire, etc.? So it just gives you some more information. So KL is kind of the German um, abbreviation basically for um, connector or connection terminal. Um, so that's just telling you it's a connection uh, terminal and it's 31. So 31 in the DIN um, standardization is an earth. So we know 31 is earth and 30 is battery life. So if I look at this wire over here, for example, you've got KL30, so you'll know that that's a live wire and this one is an earth wire. Over here on this terminal, you've got uh, LIN, so that stands for LIN, so it's a data communication wire, so you know that's a LIN data communication wire. Not all of them have that information on those. So if you look here, for example, this T4, 
4DX slash 3. It doesn't have any other information, so you'd have to actually follow that wire to find out where it goes. And it's quite nice and simple on this one because you can see it then goes down to here, down to there, and down to here, and then down to an earth point. So it's quite easy to trace that back, and we know that's an earth. Some of the other bits of simple information, uh, obviously you've got the wire thickness and the wire colour here, so it's a 2.5, uh, 0.35, and then you've got a BR, which stands for brown, so if you're not sure, it's on the diagram, so um, BR brown, then you've got an RT and a GE here, so this is a red uh, and yellow, now obviously this is all based from uh, German, so you've got the German abbreviations, obviously for all um, of the colours. And just to note as well, where you've got um, uh, the RT and then GE, so the RT is red, so that's the main colour with then a um, yellow striker through it. So the main colour is red with then a uh, yellow line through it or trace. Okay, so let's scroll back uh, to here because the other thing I want to show you is some more continuation um, information. So this control unit, J519, it's got an arrow here, so we need to know that this control unit continues on uh, to the next page. Um, but something quite important just to show you is this zagged kind of uh, off-cut line here. This just indicates that it's not showing the full control module or the full control unit or component. Whereas if we see something like here where we've got this uh, E1 light switch, um, it's just a, a, a nice simple box um, with straight lines. So that's everything, that's all the wires that are that's all the wires that are connected to that actual light switch. Whereas here we've got SA, which is a fuse board holder. You can see jagged lines. It's only showing us for this particular diagram that one fuse for that SA. Uh, Same here for this TV26. So if we continue on this J519, um, you can see it goes to the next page. That just indicates that it goes back again. So it goes forward, back, forward, we keep going all the way. So we get to here, so you can see there was no more forward arrow on there anymore. We've got this jagged line again, so it's just saying that's the end of the control unit on this diagram, but it's potentially not everything that could be um, fitted or connected to this control unit in this actual diagram. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is some of these other continuation uh, lines and node joints. So, for example, ah, here's one. Um, so here, let me just do, zoom in. You can see here we've got this kind of lone wire uh, coming down here. It's a 31, so we know it's an earth, and it's then got this line here with 397 at the side. So 397 it tells us an earth connection it's a 32 earth connection 32 in the main wiring harness as i said before it's a node connection joint um, but this just indicates that it goes on back to the next page or previous page and i need to look out for a 397 on a previous page so if i go back up here then i can see we've got to zoom in so it's easier for us to see It doesn't want me to zoom in, it's annoying. Uh, well, this is 397 here, so if I click on 397, it will indicate it there. So this is just indicating that actually these two wires are connected at a node uh, point, which is actually in the uh, earth connection 32 in the main uh, wiring harness. So if you're wondering what those little wires are at the side, at the side, just be uh, mindful of that because what you might find, you might have a fault with um, this component here, which is U19, for example, so it's a 12 volt socket. And uh, so that 12 volt socket, the earth point is connected to the same uh, earth point that is connected up through here and then up to here, up through this. And then what's this um, G36? So G36 is the right rear brake pad wear sensor, okay? so. And in fact, actually, if you look at this wiring diagram uh, individually, all these wires are looped around in a series uh, circuit, one after the other, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and to here. So potentially, 
if you had a uh, issue with your uh, brake pad uh, warning sensors and your 12 volt socket it could potentially be an, an issue with uh, the earth point because it's uh, sharing the same earth those two components so it's little simple things like that that make the wiring diagrams uh, easy to diagnose uh, issues and faults so i think as a basic overview that's pretty much um, all the quick easy stuff and um, what i'll do is i'll upload some more videos just going through in some more detail how to actually follow and trace lives and herbs on uh, these diagrams to really help you kind of diagnose any issues or faults but in the meantime um, just uh, drop some notes or comments in the section below give this a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button okay guys thanks for watching take care